赤部ソフト2Greetings, my name is Neo Second, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play of The Devil on G String, also known by its Japanese name, G Senjo no Mao. Now, a while back, I did a poll asking you guys uh, which Let's Play series you'd like me to cover on in the in the not too distant future on the channel, and uh, this game ended up winning that poll. So I finished Aoi Shiro not too long ago, and I decided, well. After I got this done, I'd go ahead and get started on my uh, Let's Play of the, on, on this game here in order to honor the results of the poll, so here we are. It's been over two years as of uh, me making this video since I've started my Let's Play and BitChute channel, my YouTube and BitChute channels, and if, I'm, and if anybody had told me that I'd ever find myself covering any H games or Rogue games or whatever you wanted to call them on these channels, I would have laughed at you, because I certainly would, did not think I'd ever find myself uh, covering such content on on either of these platforms. I thought I'd be mostly sticking to, like, I don't know, niche retro games and the occasional uh, modern uh, video game that, cat, that caught my interest, and yet, well, here we are. If life has taught me anything these past couple years, it's just that life is chock full of irony. But it's like, but I mean, hey, my only my only criteria when it can, when it comes to uh, playing these kinds of games is that um, the um, erotic elements aren't the clear focus of whatever it is I cover. Like there's an actual uh, there like there are actual big narratives uh, going going on the whole thing here where any of the sexual content is uh, mostly is mostly just taking a back a, a, a very big back seat to everything else. Because if I want to just play games where clearly the sexual content is the main focus of the whole thing, I would just rather play those on my own time or look up any kind of porn on on Google or what have you. I really don't think anyone would even want to see me uh, cover stuff like that on the channel either. So, to me, this is pretty much the best compromise if I ever found myself covering adult content on um, the channel. So, yeah. So I've already went ahead and uh, messed up my settings on on the uh, on this thing here before I started recording, and I think everything is just the way I want it. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, hit start, and we're gonna see just what exactly I'm gonna be in for this time around. Plain title: The Battle. Original title: Pictures and Exhibition. Promenade. It's only late October, yet yeah, one can already feel the brisk northern wind blowing by. Okay, I thought that the music would be... Yeah, I was just using the, the tile screen here to judge the volume of the music, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to lower it to about here. Also, I want to see... Yeah, it's only late October, yet one can already feel the brisk northern wind blowing by. The road gradually loses its color, with the setting of the sun. Now at the corner of a large building, inside an empty alleyway, pieces of fallen leaves dance elegantly in the wind. Okay, so how do I... Text history, hide message window. Okay, there we go. That'll work. Make it uh, pretty easy to get screenshots. Narrowing their eyes to prevent dust from blowing in, the people on the streets scurry to their homes. Mao raised his eyebrows as he watched the passing pedestrians, as if sensing the coming of winter. His long period of translucence was coming to an end. To perform a white-collar crime, one must both meticulously conceive and boldly execute a perfect plan. The time place and necessary sacrifices must be thoroughly thought out beforehand. In order to achieve this perfection, Mao had spent many years in planning. 
Mao wishes to kindle a power struggle within this city. A struggle to control the oceans of common men. And just as the water in these oceans will always flow downward, the weak will always search forward by the will of the strong. Therefore, to rule the, these seas of men, he will simply have to use overwhelming power. Yet if it becomes necessary in achieving his objectives, Mao will not hesitate to interrupt this torrential current. A sane man would probably dismiss his motives, believing them to be mere justifications of his criminal acts. Well, are they wrong? Still, even though people call him a devil, there are some that share his beliefs. Well, there are also criminals, then. As proof, Mao has already found both the necessary money and children to work as his underlings. What do you mean by children? These children, young adults really, are not simply crucial actors in the upcoming criminal performance, but also his loyal followers. The battle will soon begin. My father, my father, the devil is out there. Walking on a busy, flourishing street, the young girl felt awed by the, by the light. Sight, excuse me. When she was a child, the streets did not have four lanes, and the buildings were not as high as mountains. However, in this day and age, her size disappeared quickly amidst the sounds of people walking through the intersection. The girl carried a worn brown suitcase. Within the suitcases lies an expertly crafted violin. Granted, its market value was nothing compared to a legendary instrument like the, Str like the Stradivarius, but this violin was the girl's most prized possession. She squeezed the handle tightly as her body gorged on emotion. Her mother's memento. Remembering her mother's death, her heart began to burn. Within herself, with immutable confidence, lies an unwavering desire to fight. The girl kicks off the ground with incredible force. She will never give up. Not until she's accomplished her goal. Not until she defeats the devil with her own hands. Who, our devil? So, a devil who is a devil who's involved with some kind of criminal enterprise and a violin girl who seeks to uh, defeat a devil, probably the same de the same aforementioned devil. Okay, I will admit I am a little bit interested now. Lock menu. And this still hides the thing, okay. I wake up at 7 every morning. Breakfast is always with milk with toast. And like every other day, I open today's newspaper. But despite that routine, it's only after looking through my huge window and observing the city with more than 10 million residents that I finally start to feel ready for the day. Yeah, you're... You're definitely not even middle class, going by the look of this place. Okay, now it's time for school. After everything I had to take care of these past three days, school seems much more interesting. Well, I'm ready to go. Huh? A visitor this early in the morning? I don't remember making any appointments. Hello? The face on the screen looked familiar. Playing Tile Tranquility. Hmm. Excuse me, but who are you? Uh, uh, Miwa Tsubaki. Okay. Well, clearly you're a schoolgirl going by the uniform. 
What business do you have here? Ah, that's Tsubaki. Huh? Yeah, it's me. Didn't you notice? Modern intercom shouldn't have any signal quality issues. <laughs> well, don't worry about it. I apparently forgot you too. No, I'm not kidding. It seems that I'm not fully awake yet. So, a guy who clearly seems a, a guy who clearly seems very confident in his ability to rule the seas of man and is very forgetful of his own classmates, his very existences. Charming fellow, this guy. Anyways, why are we you here? Oh, that's sweet of you to check on me. Everything's fine now. Tell you what, I'll be right down. Let's walk to school together. <laughs> Sabaki sounded pretty happy. Oh, hiya. Morning. Tsubaki is one of those people that improves your spirit just by being around her. Well, he just says amazing here, but yeah. Didn't think he'd skip that fast. All I did was click once. Well, I guess it is a bit big for just one person. I'm a man of wealth and taste, after all. I smile wryly. You live in the Eastern District, right? Oh no, that sounds pretty nice. Then it should be nice and quiet, right? They're building a ski resort out there, right? People rave about the snow quality I hear, so it's been getting a lot of publicity in Australia. Supposedly it's going to be quite the tourist attraction. The value of real estate out there is about 140,000 yen per square yard, right? But then again, the developers are using a gen general con contractor, so no matter how many hotels and restaurants they build, it won't benefit the residents too much. There's no point in talking to Sabaki about this. I'm going to, uh, yeah, I'm going to assume I live in what is at least a five-story flat, so... <laughs> Yeah, kinda rich might be a bit of an understatement. I'm a man of wealth and taste, after all. Sabaki holds a red book to her chest, as if it were a treasure. You carry your diary around with you? A diary is like a part of your skin. Is there some specific reason you carry it around all day? Memo, memo. Listen to me. We better hurry to school. I think I like this girl. We finally begin to our trek to school together. Just Make sure that you keep that thing in a really good in a really good pouch or a purse or something, because it would be really bad to lose that somewhere. After a short 15-minute walk, we arrived before the gates. ここ自由ヶ崎学園はその名の通りとても自由な校友が特徴です。個性的な学生が多く、若手のミュージシャンやアイドルなどの芸能人も多く通っているのでした。
Now, by freedom for its students, do you mean freedom, uh, freedom in uh, educational pursuits, or? Well, I think that's pretty much the only thing you could do. But yeah, could you、uh, elaborate for us newcomers, please? Hanayaka no hanmen. 成績が悪くても簡単に卒業できるので、学園とは名ばかりの芸能スクールだと言われています。Well, if you can easily graduate without having to focus on your academics, I mean, I'd probably think the same thing. So, I got a sister, huh? I don't really understand what's going on, but apparently the explanation of the school is over. Hey, Tsubaki. Oh, uh, we got the cat face going on. About my absences. Didn't I tell you about that before? Oh, Bioki, Nandoke. That's not what I said. Tsubaki tilted her head. I'm absent because I help my papa with work. Sometimes I take business trips out of the country. Does this、uh, business of your papa's have anything to do with protection rackets and any other kind of organized crime by any chance? Really? That's certainly quite the casual thing to just. That's certainly quite a casual thing to admit. Well, no. That's that's quite that's quite the big thing to just casually admit to me. I mean, I don't think most people would do that. Somehow that sounded a bit creepy. I know. Demo, いいこと聞いちゃったな。メモメモ。You writing this down too? Asai kun wa oto san wo. パパって言うのでした。欧米か、まる。What's wrong with that? Even even Honawa even Honikawa san says it like that. Honikawa san te. Ah, that anime? What anime? Honikawa san is my idol. Hmm. I think I'm starting to get in the groove. Oh, hi. And who are you? Oh, hey, Echi, or Echi. He is Aizawa Echi. Kun, look at the picture. He is a very beautiful boy. Okay. 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 Not etchy. I'm once again in the dark here, but apparently she's done explaining the new character too. Today, から to っても寒いね。僕朝起きたら雪が降ってるんじゃないかなってワクワクしてたんだ。Well, going by that, going by, going by that opening cinematic I just saw, I guess it is winter time, isn't it? A cute puppy-like smile appeared on his face. Ne ne, Tsubaki chan. Kino hatsubai shita kyun kyun yonda. Kun kun is a popular women's fashion magazine. Oh, mada mite na yo. Ja, kashite ageru ne. Kongye tsuwa ne, aroma no tokushu yatte ru nda yo. Ato, kondo nishiku ni open suru okashi no omise no kiji mo dete ta yo. Eichi knows a lot about popular women's topics. H 君って悪い意味じゃなくて私より可愛いよね。I don't know. Does he carry around a diary too? <笑>女の子っぽいかな。でもそこがいいところだと思うな。話しやすいよ。Oh, I see. So if you're masculine, you're hard to talk to, huh? Have you ever been to a bar? <笑>ありがとう。I think this every time, but Ichi's smile always looks perfect. Ah, so so. Ichi once again flashes his bright white teeth. 
。なんかね、今日転入生が来るんだって。Oh, in our class, at this time of year, she's probably some new idol who moved here for her debut. It's not an unusual for one to transfer here in the middle of the school year. 女の子らしいよ。可愛い子だといいね。毎日休まず来てくれる子だといいな。年末になると仕事が忙しいみたいで、みんないなくて寂しいし。Hmm. Well, I guess depending on your point of view, that could be a good or a bad thing. I think Kanan is coming today. あ、ほんともうアメリカから帰ってきたんだ。Canada, actually. I just got the message last night. Well, Canada is basically America's hat anyway, so close enough. No offense to, all, to any Canadian viewers I may have here. At least you make delicious maple syrup. Well, it all depends on how she does between now and then. So, I'm going to go to Sounds like she's waiting for her lover. What a sweet girl. So, I forgot. I was just going to be a teacher. Now, that's the kind of stuff you should remember to write in your diary. Post a note would suffice, honestly. I wouldn't bother writing little things like that in, in, su in such a thing. Sorry, I'm going to go. Okay, I'll see you later. Subaki dashed into the school building. The sky is a lovely shade of blue today, wouldn't you say? Eichi and I stared at each other for a while. <laughs> okay, this is a complete 180 from what I was expect from what we've seen before. What? Huh? Oh, come on. She didn't mean anything bad by it. Dude, what the hell? You were laughing with her, weren't you? Whoa, kid. She's our friend, right? If you gotta think about screwing her, at least do think about doing it gently. Well, <laughs> okay. Whatever you say, son. What an idiot. What an edgelord we got here. I, f I think he's even cuter now. <laughs> Finally, the bell rings. <laughs> That was an incredibly fast personality switch. There are about 30 students in this class. Five are absent today. Are you good friends with Shiratori san? Whoops. Well, I'd kind of like to be her friend too. Shiratori. Shiratori Mizuha. Even though I forgot a lot of stuff, that's one girl that I need to take note of. Unfortunately, she's not here today. Then I realized how noisy the hallway was. Good morning, new character. Okay, so you're Ken. You're Kanon. Or Canon. Okay, I just need to hear her name said enough times before I get how to say it correctly. The classroom immediately became livelier following Kanon's arrival. Yeah, yeah! Minna Genki Steta! So, I'm going to assume you are our resident Genki girl? Sweet stepsister, you really are quite loud. Kanon-chan, how are you? Canada, how was it? 
Did you bring home any syrup? Hmm, Canada? Ettone. Canada, the you kanji da ta na. Perfect response. Sweet stepsister, you really are quite are quite airheaded. So, so ka. Demo ne, demo ne. Four kaiten tobeiru yo ni natta yo. I forgot what the quad jump is. She has a smug look on her face. Sugoi! Figure skate no four kaiten jump te. Sekai demo sozo dekiru hito inai te kita yo. Okay, going by the name, I'm going to assume it involves both arms and legs. Yes. She still has a smug look on her face. So, so ka. Nisa, Nisa. What? Why are you so excited? Today, Nisa, no, you can go to the house. Why? Huh? I was stunned for a second. Ha! <laughs> Started. Kanon-chan's amazing bowshogun. Kanon-chan is a little girl, so. Ne, good, good, good. Oh wait, so you're my sister? Okay. Hold it right there. Today's a bad day. Well, any day's a bad day. You really are a gloomy bastard deep down, aren't you? Nande? Don't keep looking at me with those eyes. Nande, nande, doste? Kyosuke, oikomare te na. I think I just saw an evil smile pop up on Aichi's face. Why? Because there's only one bed in my house. Oh? Issho ni nareba ii to omou yo. Well, I got another idea. You can have the bed, and I can have the couch. Hey now, I think you're missing something here. Think about it. A non-blood related brother and sister sharing the same bed? Okay, so you're adopted? What is this, some third rate soap opera? Oh? Right, Aichi? Tell her. You're not innocent at all, clearly, going by your personality. Asshole. Look, you just can't. Go back home like you normally do. Papa wants to see you too. Yada. Now what? But just at that moment, as if God had intervened, my cell phone rang. Ah, Azai-ku, Keitai Denwa ga kuen ni motte kicha dame te mai ni mo. Imagine being told in in current year to not be allowed to carry your cell phone in school. I think a lot of people would just have a heart attack at the very idea alone. I ignored her and answered the phone. Hello. Oh, hi Miki. Hi Miki Chan. I had a lot of fun at the park the other day. Huh? Huh? Yeah, I'm at school right now. What? Really? You want to do it again sometime? So do I. Tare ka na? Tomodachi janai ka na? Azai kun te gakuen no soto ni tomodachi oi mitai da shi. Friends or underlings? Kyosuke kun te kekko moteru nda yo ne. Ii na. Huh. Sure. I'll call you again later. All right. Bye. After conversation, I looked at Kanan. Dare? This is a little friend of mine. Chotto shita te? Yeah, little, like short and statured, or little as in very little importance in the grand in the totem pole. Kanojo? Well, not exactly. It's hard to describe my relationship with Miki-chan. Huh? Nanka okotta. Watashi ga Kanada ni itteru aida ni. Hey now, time mo time moves regardless of where you are, kid sister. Even Canada. Come on now, don't be like that. You know what they say? You're supposed to have fun while you're young. But, but, Kanan, 
Everyone deserves to have fun. Well, except Aichi. No, that wasn't my girlfriend. What for? Sure you don't. <laughs> Turning her head, she sulked back to her seat. Nope. Uh, no, seriously, Kanon. I would. Why are? Why would you be upset at the idea of me having a girlfriend? Would it be because you think I'd spend less time with you or something? Or are we gonna go with the little sister heroine route here in this game as well, on top of whatever else this game's gonna throw at me? <laughs> School really is great. It's so comfortable. Then you should come here more, boy. Hey, Eiichi. Mommy. Class is going to start without the transfer student. Eiichi is sitting in the back of the class, reading a magazine instead of his textbook. Mm, Are you sure she's coming today? You know, now that I'm, I'm just now thinking of this, but is there a flowchart or anything I could consult? So far, it doesn't look like it. Noriko-chan is a teacher at the school. Supposedly, she's in some sort of relationship with Eiichi, but I doubt it. I'm always interested in women. Look who's talking. Well, it's tough being a transfer student, right? She won't know her way around school. She might have trouble making friends. You know what I'm talking about. So she'll be inter easy to seduce. You would know, wouldn't you? I don't really want to hear that from you, but I'll take it as a compliment. When it comes to women, Eiichi and I have always seen eye to eye. You're becoming more you're becoming more and more likable to me all the time, Protag. Oh, Kyosuke. Oh wait, whoops. See my pencil? What, you mean the pencil that's stuck in your that's stuck to your crotch? I don't know, I haven't seen it. Eiichi looks all over his desk for it. You ever hear of a guy named Newton? Isaac Newton. Yes. Yes, you are. Your pencil is under your desk. A famous person. Yes, but why, what is he famous for? I'll give you a hint. The three laws of... <laughs> no, he's a famous physicist. Three laws of motion. You guys, do you like money? How is he cool? Would you mind sharing the class? Um, okay. The only thing I understood was that you overused the word amazing. If an ad agency ever hired Eiichi, he'd run them into the ground. So it's about money after all. Fukuzawa Yuki Yukichi? Fuck you, Zawa. Yeah, going by some of these uh, scene transitions, this definitely is an older visual novel game. It's still October, so the roof is top is quite cold. 
I love how I love how I this first episode I'm doing it's still basically right it's, it's still basically October for me as of me making this episode so strange timing between when I'm making this and when I'm making this and when this game apparently takes place you don't look like you need to be on one for figure skaters, it seems that even one extra pound could cause balance problems during jumps. Mm, makes sense. Never really thought about that before. How are you not rotund? I don't know if it's part of his innocent image, but I've never seen him eat anything but sweets. I ask again, how are you not rotund? Even during breaks, I need to spend my time on the phone. Oh, bullshit, I'll eat with you. Tsubaki sadly opened her lunchbox and began to eat. Seems like Kanan's mood is, hasn't improved since this morning. Don't get the wrong impression. I was just calling your new maid, Kanan. Yeah, her name is Kojima. She's a very affable person. Papa asked me to. He said the house would be a lot noisier after you're back. In the southern district, Sibaki looked looked bewildered. Well, I'm really out of it in the mornings. Eichi whispered beside me. <laughs> Do neither of you witness his his facial expressions when he's switch when he's switching to Mr. Hyde? At all? Either of you? One of these days, I'm going to teach this kid a lesson he'll never forget. Why not now? I mean, hey, there's a rooftop right over here. I would just submit him to a Batman interrogation. Huh? Oh, hey, here's the violin girl. I pointed at that person without thinking. Huh? Ah, the long More like it's very thick. She's staring at us. Say hi, guys! Well, I guess you could say we're staring at her too, but she's been staring at us for a while now. To be more precise, she's been staring at me. That's because you don't usually come to school. No, I don't. Hmm. At that moment, Eiji raised his hand excitedly. Care to share of the class, Green? He has a smug look on his face. My cell phone rang. Oh, sorry. I can't control causality. People will call when they call. Don't get mad. It's the same person. I answered the phone. On the other end of the line is an old lady's voice. Oh, hi. You're Kojima-san, right? Damn it. Kanon is annoying sometimes. She's been following me around since we were kids. 
学園に携帯電話持ってきてないのって私くらいなのかな You don't even have a giant brick of a cell phone with you? うちって規則ゆるゆるだからね I'm getting a more and more favorable impression of this school the more as time goes on ねえ、僕の話を聞いてよ It seems Aichi really wants to, to tell us something about the girl with the long hair Hmm After giving the maid some simple directions, I hung up the phone おい A voice spoke out from behind me. Huh? You are an unkempt beauty. I turned around. A large pair of eyes stare at me from a long, thick, living creature of, a hair, of hair. <laughs> Um, I'm sorry? Eyes so clear that one could fall into them. I saw a faint smile form in the corner of her lips. So? What are you trying to say? I kept my mouth shut. あれ <laughs> Huh? Huh? You sure you don't need me to lend you a comb or something? Or is or is that just how you prefer your hair? These two still don't get it. Wait, make that three. I'm not sure what you're trying to imply, but the person who recommended her told me about her affable personality. Huh? That was... That... Can it be? Is this weird girl? I was kind of wondering if she was. But I wasn't quite sure yet. Also, how did you fix your hair... How did you fix your hair like that so quickly? The transfer student who was late on her first day stands before the class. She keeps looking down at the floor. As the class representative, Sibaki organized this introduction. Oh. Huh. She doesn't seem to be motivated. Maybe she just needs more sleep? She muttered in a voice that was hard to pick up. It must be a real pain to manage. She's got a strange air about her. Feeling awkward, Sabaki tried to ask again. Ano. Well, yes, that is how class introductions are done. You introduce yourself to everyone. She keeps sighing. <laughs> I like you already. <laughs> she seems to be quite red angry. Astute observation, green hair. 
Beads of sweat appeared on Tsubaki's forehead. Yeah, it's Bin Laden, right? So what changed what made you change your name to Bin Laden? Just out of interest. I wonder what hero bread tastes like. No, no, keep going. I'm loving this. <laughs> no, don't! Keep making, keep making the puns. あの、So this is gonna be our devil slayer, huh? <laughs> oh, this is great. I'm loving this. I'm loving this so far. So she finally wants to introduce herself. ほら、あの、よくバンドのメンバーが捕まると新聞で変な名前の呼び方されるじゃないですか。興味名佐藤ボーカルを逮捕みたいな。さ、私の場合うさみだからうさみバイオリンとか記事にされるんですかね。どう
or maybe for a game or something? そんな耳っちいものじゃない。Childish. Then what is it? 教えてやらない。I see. I have no idea how, but it seems like I angered Usami. Get angry at Green Hair! He's the one snooping! Oh, I see what you're doing here. No, not really. For some reason, she seems depressed now. What? As if appraising an item, she examined me closely. At this point, the bell rang. <sighs> sounds to me like we need. Sounds to me like I need to plant your face in a textbook. That sounded a lot more violent than I meant it to be. Everyone's finally relaxed now that the test is over. Nene! Eiichi used his cute voice again as he came over to Usami and me. I'm going to say she doesn't go to one at all. It's all natural, right? I'm going to take that silence as a very firm yes. Usami didn't, doesn't, doesn't say anything, continues staring at Aichi. どうしたの? <笑> She doesn't seem interested. Your unkempt hair, a mess of a hair is just fine. Usami san! Tsubaki came over with a smile on her face. Tsubaki is such a pleasant girl. Tsubaki is such a kind girl. Critical hit. <laughs> She's probably devil hunting right now anyway, so I wouldn't get in her way. Where are you from? Huh? I asked you where you're from. Oh. Oh. So were you Mrs. Claus? Don't be ridiculous. Nobody lives there. Hmm. As far as I'm aware, none of none of Santa's workers lives in the South Pole, so. Abominable snow lady? Stop using such extreme places. まあ、両極端って言うのは、こういう瞬間に生まれた言葉なんでしょうね。な、なんで勝ち誇ったように言うんだろう。それじゃ本当すみませんけど。あ、ごめんね。引き止めちゃって。ん?どうしたの?ひ
くしようよじゃあ明日からでいいか Why not now? え明日から今日はまだ心の準備ができてない。Um, considering your introduction, I guess you're not exactly lying, are you? じ、準備とかいるんだ。わかったよ。So, what will you be like once you're mentally prepared, I wonder? 悪いな。じゃ。Goodbye! Usami quickly got up and left. Eichi and I look at each other. Sibaki, on the other hand, was all smiles. Why not light speed? It'll get you there faster. Whenever Kanan's in a good mood, she calls herself Nan Chan. You'll be practicing until 10 tonight, like usual, right? I plan to. I want to see Mama, too. Mama is Kanan's mother. But beyond that, she's also Kanan's fi figure skating coach. She clings to my arm. She swings my arm around. Kanan has always used expressive body language. I got it. Seven o'clock, right? <laughs> She buries her face in my chest. Wait a minute. We're at school. People will see us. You have no shame. Oh well, you were always like this. Well, it's because she's like this that she can perform in front of an audience. I guess being this shameless could be a very useful skill in、uh, something like ice, ice skating, can it? She did, she did a little jump and left. What is it? Yeah. So, 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 What do you need? So she just wants to go out. Okay, so when do you want to go out? Sure, but only until six. I have an appointment with Kanan later tonight. We're just hanging out. Why all the fuss? Is that so? It's You don't have to worry too much about that. Tsubaki smiled innocently. She really is a sweet girl. It's almost November, so the sun is starting to set early these days. Oh? Oh, H. Eichi is standing by his school gate, talking to a female teacher. Is this the、uh, rumored、uh, other half of the relationship that we heard about earlier? I don't know, but it sure look like, looks like he's into that teacher. Ah, so nanda. Hey, H. Kun te, ya pari t a s h u e no hito ga ski nanda ne. No, to paraphrase what he said earlier, he just likes pussy. So de ne, Noriko sensei, kiri te yo. And apparently he's trying to make a pass at her. Bok ne, usagi kate nanda. That poor rabbit. 
かわいいわねぴょんたんって言うんだかわいいでしょうんかわいいかわいい、so、そういえば子犬も飼ってるんだっけうんうんマルチーズかわいいよねかわいいかわいい熱帯魚もいるしインコも飼ってるんだよ Assuming that you aren't whining about any of this shit, how many pets do you have? Eiichi's house is a regular zoo. よかったら今日見に来ない相沢くんのお家にうんうん、一緒に夕飯食べようよ。僕料理得意なんだよ。えぇ、ー、どうしようかしら。今週当直なのよね。遅くなるけどいい来てよ来てよ。変なことしないから。Boy Scouts on her. 変なこと<笑>あっな,なんでもないよくそ口が滑ったぜ待って待って慌てんな取り乱すなここで余裕見せとけ余裕のおるちゃん見せてやれ Let's just ignore them I agree Let's go s u b a k i うん H くんの声が実るといいね I certainly don't In a city full of young people The streets during the events are always full of life. That is a very strange looking McDonald's restaurant I see over here on the left. Did they change their logo recently? It's a Y, so would it, it, would it now be called Yakdonald's? This is Central Boulevard, the heart of to Tomanbetsu City's Central District. Fast food restaurants, coffee houses, karaoke bars, and so on. All sorts of entertainment hotspots exist for young people who don't go home right after school. Are you some country bumpkin? Central Guy is not a good thing. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You know, you're just like one of those perfectly innocent girls out of a manga. Indeed, if we keep walking, we'll come across a lot of clubs and studios. Then we'll wander right into the red light district. Azai kun wa yoku kuru no? Me? How should I respond? I often skip classes, and my grades and physical evaluations are mediocre. My image at school is that of someone who plays cool but is a frivolous womanizer. I go shopping around here every once in a while. Why do you ask? Sometimes I'm alone. Sometimes I'm with another person. Seems that this girl. By clubs, do you mean a dance club or a boxing club? Wants to know more about me recently. If you're always in the same class, then why would you wait until now to approach me? <laughs> To be honest, I'm usually with a woman. Let's try to get her to despise me a little. There's no way to sugarcoat this, really, but, uh, I'm a pretty lecherous playboy. I need to maintain just the right distance from my classmates. Not too close, and not too far. Sorry. You must hate womanizers like me, right? Yet she smiled. Well, that totally backfired. Well, there's usually not much to know about, about people like that. A lot of people like that tend to be pretty shallow. 
And I know not every womanizer on the planet is a shallow person. Hashtag not all, but a lot, but a lot of them tend to be. I studied Tsubaki's expression. I'm just going by I'm just going by uh, typical uh, behavior patterns I notice among certain groups of people. There isn't even a tiny bit of insincerity in her smile. I see. I don't think it would be over generous to consider Tsubaki a gentle and pure human being. Well, let's just well, let's not just stand here and chat. Where should we go? How about a coffee shop? Is this your first time going to a coffee shop? You're fine as is. Just follow me. The, the coffee shop, La Lapis Lazuli, is a quaint little spot here on Central Boulevard. I don't know, I'm not seeing a whole lot of blue in this place. No, I almost consider this false advertising. It's calm, and the clientele is generally a pretty nice crowd. For someone like Tsubaki, this is a perfect place. Oh, she really is one of the common folk. Where do you normally go to have fun? Huh? What are you, a child? Well, not exactly. <laughs> is this girl actually lonely? What I meant was, what do you, why do you go shopping or sing at karaoke, karaoke bars? You know, things that people your age normally like like to do. That's because you write down everything. Excuse me. Me? How should I answer this? I like to play around with women. Huh? Do you also be? Just kidding. To be honest, I'm glad you didn't get that one. I guess that's one way you could describe foreplay. Seeking what is hidden underneath fabric, so to speak. Why are children's games the only things she can come up with? If you really want an answer, it's music. The truth leaks out of my mouth before I can stop it. Okay, that's actually pretty tame sounding from what I thought you were talking about. You're into heavy music then? I personally prefer classical. Classical? <laughs> You know, I wonder why the font completely changes whenever some whenever any words are italicized. It's kind of off-putting. There you go, taking notes again. Probably J.S. Bach. Shocker. I just told you. Bach. There were many Bachs in history because it's a family name. But the most famous Bach, the one I refer to, is, is Johann Sebastian Bach. Some people call him the Big Bach. <laughs> Sabaki suddenly stopped writing. Why'd you close your diary? A big smile? Is he trying to say I'm showing off or something? 
。でも、今日はアザイ君の意外な一面を見れて嬉しいな。楽しいな。No. She's definitely not that type of person. 今度、CD 貸してもらってもいいかな。Sure. Oh, a new box CD is coming out tomorrow. Of course, when I say new, it means a new compilation of his works. Well, to be honest, I really am. I've been literally counting off the days to release on my fingers. Can I take your plane for tomorrow to be a sign that you're ready to head home? Um, <laughs> 最近日が暮れるのが早いでしょ明日はもうちょっと遅くまで遊べると思うから。We haven't even started the whole plane part yet.Oh well.Let's go then.I'll pay the tab. 私、紅茶と飲んだから。She gave me a thousand yen bill.Hold on.Let me see if I have a fifty yen coin.Dang it, I don't have change. Oh, Eo, Eo. No, I'll go get some change. Eo, Joe, what's get the Muratasi? She insisted on giving me the money. No, I can't do that. Litigi da na, Honto ni in da yo, Oju en kura. I stared at Tsubaki. I already told you, I can't do that. Oh, even if it's just fifty yen, money is still money. Tsubaki stopped smiling. Understand? Tsubaki once said, It's nice to judge people you don't know. But I know without a shadow of a doubt that anyone who doesn't value money is, in most cases, evil. I walked Tsubaki all the way to the substation. Be careful on your way home. Tomorrow. I don't know how to respond. So we did. There may be an emergency, but if that's all you want, I'll think, I think I'll have time. Yeah, um. That must have sounded kind of strange. A call? She really does seem to be interested in me. Well. Like I said, I should have the time. So? Tsubaki smiled and waved at me. So? Yeah. Tsubaki walked down into the subway station. Now, there are so many things I still need to take care of today. Just as I was about to leave, I felt something tug at my memory. Six o'clock right now. Didn't I have an appointment at six? Something. So, we got our first choice here now. My little appointment with Kanan. She said that she wanted me to show up sometime around seven, so. Let's go make that appointment. Something about Kanan. I think so, actually. Skein rank or something. Oh well. If I can't remember it, then it probably wasn't too important. Do you honestly have memory issues? Time to head back. Huh? For uh forgot something? What happened? Why'd you run back like that? Trying to catch your breath, Subaki said. I chuckled. Oh, is that it? I told her my number. 
What's yours? Watashi, Kitai d e w a m t e n a i k a r Huh? In this day and age? Nanka, i r a n a i k o n o t e That's pretty inconvenient, isn't it? Let's buy one while we're out tomorrow. Iyo, Iyo, Ye no d e w a de t u b u n d a k a r Girls like her are rare these days. Da, d e w a s u r k a r a t e t e n e Okay. This time, Tsubaki really laughed. But still, why'd she suddenly become interested in me? Hmm. I don't think I should get too close to her. Why not? She doesn't, doesn't seem like she has any ill intentions so far. Treading upon the stones of Central Boulevard, I begin my walk home. People often say I'm absent minded. Gee, I wonder why. But when it comes to money, I'll never miss a beat. The ones who could never dream of reaching my level. When I arrived home, I immediately walked into the study and picked up the phone. Sorry to bother you. Are you by any chance the president of Cottony Incorporated? On the other end of the line, the voice of a middle aged man full of anger replied Cottony, what's your name? You must think I'm weak just because I sound young. My name is Azai Ku. My name is Azai Kyosuke. Nice to meet you. Azai Kyosuke. His voice faded. So, right hand man. People used to say that I was just a little small fry that leached off of his father's position. Looks like people's opinions of me have risen recently. アザイ工業のブレーンが出てきたのなら話は早いそっちが勝手に食ったうちの島についてどう落としまいをつけてくれるんだ The Azai Corporation is a Yakuza group with, diff with diffuse connections throughout both the underworld and the police force It's also a major member of the Sowa Alliance My father, Azai Gonzo, is one of the leaders of the pack Due to police crackdowns, the days when Yakuza used force to fight over territory has passed. On the verge of collapse, the Yakuza bosses gathered together and proposed the peaceful coexistence doctrine. They then began to use legitimate businesses as fronts. The one that acted as a spearhead for this con con conversion from underground society to the normal world was the Azai Corporation. Compensating. Well, you certainly don't sound too calm about this. On the surface, the Azai Corporation is legal, but it really is just a SOA branch company. Basically, the Azai Corporation is the front for SOA. It manages the group's financial affairs, like real estate, construction, tourism, dining, theme parks, golf courses, and much more. Our revenue compares favorably with even the biggest legitimate corporations. Unfortunately, we have some disputes with other organizations within the circle. For example, the person yelling at me right now. Of course, these types of conflicts are common in business, and they should be common sense by now. Yet these Yakuza are still stuck in their old ways of selling things with informal dealings like this. I'm terribly sorry, but there wasn't anything that suggested only you could open clubs and hotels there. He's right. I knew about it. I also know that those hotels and clubs make up most of his revenue. Nothing in this world remains constant, even long term collaborations. Otherwise, you'd never see divorces, right? His breathing became wild. 
Kotenai-san, you seem to have misunderstood something. This isn't about us trying to take over your turf. We're merely expanding our market. It's just that our company worked a little harder than yours. This is a legitimate business. Within that context, th is there really any need to ask a competitor's opinion on how we should conduct ourselves? At that moment, I heard something break on the other end of the line. He probably kicked over his desk out of anger, insulted that he was being criticized by a mere boy. Hey, and brothers tend to fight with each other. And... Technically, I'm not part of the family. And anyway, Azai Gonzo never taught me such courtesies. Azai Gonzo told me this instead. When talking to idiots like this man, one must have the mind of a hunter before his prey. Well, I can definitely see where you got some of your mindset from. Oh, sorry to change the subject, but I believe your company has a lot of cash at hand, right? Ah! Uh? They came from illegitimate business deals, didn't they? <laughs> I checked up on your company's recent actions. I found contracts from backdoor dealings in order to conceal your income, and numerous bank accounts using fictitious names. Don't you think the police would be interested in these documents? I didn't let up on my prey. I'll just go ahead and make these public then. I can just I can imagine the expression on his face. Of course not. I've always preferred legal methods when it comes to settling disputes. As long as you can accept our recently opened clubs and hotels in the central district, I'll be quite satisfied. A murderous cry poured from the receiver. It was filled with humiliation. And with that, he finally surrendered. After all, I held the ace. And all that's left is to put just a tiny bit more pressure on him. Well then, it's been nice talking to you. When I put the phone down the phone, I checked my email and picked up the phone once more. Hey, it's Kyosuke. Thanks for taking my call. This has been my life ever since I met Azai Gonzu. I'm calling to speak to you about the bill from the Showa Management Company. An enormous sum of cash circulates under my direction, yet I'm not even a formal employee of the Azai Corporation. Yes, I read your proposal, but that's not enough. I'm just a student, but my decisions can cause companies to go bankrupt, or even condemn people to ruin. Yes. Generally speaking, a company needs to prepare three copies. The only thing I learned up until now is that money is everything. One copy for the shareholder, one copy for the bank, and one for the business you're dealing with. Of course, each copy needs to be slightly different. I'm sure you know this, right? Everyone lives for money. Their lives revolve around money. That's correct. No, no. That company won't last much longer if you ask me. Sure. Age, sex, occupation. None of these matter when compared to alongside one's accumulated wealth. Not at all. If you're happy with my advice, I can give you as much as you want. Right. Everyone fears and respects me. But I won't stop here. I want more power. At the moment, it's just the Azai Corporation. But someday, I'll take over all of Soa. 
Then I'll have the power to affect society as a whole. Politicians, CEOs of multinational corporations, they'll all bow before me. What I want is the position of the puppet master in the shadows. It's just like, so you're going to be a hero, huh? Then I'll, like, what? A sharp pain is throbbing in my forehead. What's going on? The person on the other end of the line asked. Hmm? Oh, it's nothing. I look forward to doing more business with you in the future. I quickly hang up the phone. I never bother to remember anything from my daily life that doesn't have anything to do with money. School, for example. I rested for a while in the living room. Suddenly, I was watching my hands reach out for a coat. My memory of that day ended there. Chapter 1 Hmm. Like I said, our protag is clearly quite the charmer in more ways than one. A very upstanding individual. Nothing, ro nothing wrong with how this guy's head works in the slightest. <laughs> Makes me wonder, is his character arc going to be mainly about him falling in love with one of his classmates and through them, through the love that they have towards him, he ends up being redeemed from his more negative traits, so to speak? It's probably going to be something like that. That then just leaves the question of what are the, the character arcs going to be like for whoever it is I decide to pursue in this game. So, tell you what. I think I'm going to go ahead. I think I'm going to go ahead and Yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, end things here. I hope you guys enjoyed this first episode of The Devil on G-String. If you did and you want to see more content from me, feel free to subscribe to my channel. I will see you all next time. Take care.